After you have isolated the points by removing the crank handle from the correct ESML cabinet, you're ready to wind the points. Remember, you wind the trailing ends first and may have to wind all ends of the points. Get into a safe, comfortable working position close to the points motor. Unscrew the crank hole cover. You must operate the crank locating ring before the handle can be fully inserted into the crank hole. Push the handle into the hole and lock it onto the crankshaft. You do have to align the handle until it engages. Apply vertical downward pressure on the crank handle while winding. Now wind the crank handle until it won't wind any further, maintaining a constant downward pressure on the handle. It's essential that the points are fully wound so that the switch rail moves hard against the stock rail and the lock drives in. After winding is complete, remove the handle, clip and lock the points and then proceed to the other end.